In this video we are playing Find the Ice Creams and this is not a game to play if you are on a diet. This game is literally filled with so many delicious ice creams. Um, so I have ordered the video by sort of location. If you do get stuck with any of the ice creams, I do have an order list available in my video description. Or well, please do drop me a comment, I'm more than happy to help where I can. Oh, classic fab. I know those from my childhood. I haven't had one of those actually for years. <laughs> Round spawn, there are two that I'm not going to get. This is the VIP and the group join, but you can go ahead uh, if you want to get those. Never had an Oreo Blizzard, but I'm assuming it's something that resembles like an Oreo McFlurry potentially. Oh, there's the Oreo McFlurry. <laughs> That's always the worst thing when you go, can I have a McFlurry? And then they ask you what flavour, and I'm like, I don't know what topping I want on it. I've never had an Oreo ice cream cake. I don't think I've ever seen that here. To be honest though, I'm, <laughs> I'm not actually the world's biggest lover of ice cream. Um, I find it quite sickly after a while. Like that, that's perfect for me, just like a, a magnum. Nothing more than that. I wouldn't be one of those people that kind of, you know in films where they have like a breakup and then they get out of these massive tubs of ice cream and just sit there and eat it. That's not me at all. I have about four or five spoonfuls of Ben and & Jerry and start to find it sickly. <laughs> Again, when you know the trick for these, you are never going to fall through another one again. This is the best hack for these bridges. I think when I was a noob, I used to run, fall down, run, fall down until I found my way through them. <laughs> Hershey's ice cream in a tub. Like, is that like Hershey's is in like the chocolate Hershey's? Which I'm sorry, I know that all like Americans and everyone else is gonna hate me, but it tastes like kind of cheap advent calendar chocolate to me. It always has like a bit of a taste of vomit. I, it just doesn't compare to Cadbury's. I was bought up on Cadbury's like. <laughs> Again, can't be a magnum. And if I can ask if A, you enjoy ice cream or B, enjoy this video, if I can ask if you can help support my channel by liking this video, drop me a comment and most importantly subscribing. Thank you so, so much. See, we don't, I don't think I've ever seen a Snickers McFlurry here. I, no, I don't think I ever have. We have like the bog standard Smarties, uh, Oreo, and then they might do like a speciality one. So there's just like your bog standard McFlurry, but even then it's got a topping on it. Oh, I've never seen Twix McFlurry. They need to start bringing these out. I want to try them. Again, we don't have blizzards, so I don't know where they're from. That must be something like Dairy Queen or potentially a chain that we don't have a lot of here or if at all in the UK. But I mean, for us really, you can't beat the Mr. Whippy 99p flake with a bit of sauce of your choice. Those are the ice creams that are common in like the ice cream vans, the one that drive down the road with the music. And then you'd run into your mom and you'd go, Mom, can I have some money for the ice cream? And then they'd tell you to get a choc ice out of the freezer. <laughs> and whilst all your friends lined up to get their 99p flakes or screwballs, the screwballs aren't in here. Um, screwballs, for anyone who doesn't know, is like a Mr. Whippy, but it's like bubblegum flavour, and you get a, a, a bubblegum at the bottom. But yeah, you'd be sat there while they'd all had their nice ice creams with like your cheap Tesco's choc ice. <laughs> Again, don't think I've ever seen the Skittles. I'd love to try that as well. 
Oh, this is making me. I actually want an ice cream now. I can't play. I should not play food orientated games on Roblox because I start to feel peckish and then I want one. <laughs> Ugh, strawberry ice cream, no. Not for me. The thing is, like, you know where they say your phone listens to you? It must be true because I've played this game and now, like, TikTok is filling my uh, feed with the um, Mr. Whippy, your own Mr. Whippy machines and the Ninja ice cream machines. That would be too dangerous for me to have in the house. I'd literally be trying all flavours. downside to this game yet again it's not a badge game like I want a Cornetto badge but I'd love that Cornetto badge take that away with me <laughs> so I would obviously say to turn that on in an update most find the games these days are badge games but like this it really is just a pass the time game I'd also get rid of those X's you don't need them like I don't know why these games have suddenly all started putting X's uh, above the items because it just makes it so easy like I know it's accessible for the younger players obviously the ones who like ice cream but just up the challenge at least just a little bit and get rid of those X's fine to have the thumbs up when you've got them But yeah, nothing hard about this game. There's no real hidden ones. This is literally just a, you've got sort of half an hour to spare, so blast through a quick game. It's still been enjoyable. Baskin Robbins Dunkin' Donuts flavor. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that, but I really want to try it. I'm so jealous. Who? These must be American or like other countries because I've not seen these. Quite surprised there wasn't one in there. One has appeared, so obviously in true Judgment TV style, I play the game, I start to edit the video, I go back to grab something off the game and find out that it's been updated. So I do know that there is one in there, I will do the update uh, at the end of the video. It just made it easier than trying to sandwich it into the edited bit that I've already done. will say obviously as simple as the game is the maps are quite nice there's some areas with some nice attention to detail like here again I don't think I've ever seen McFlurries with M&Ms we just get stuck with Smarties and that's even that's if the ice cream machine's even working half the time you can't get a McFlurry or even a milkshake another one we don't call them Twizzlers we call them Twisters get another rank flavor I'd never buy strawberry 
to the bin and the cone it's in the tub now it doesn't matter who makes it like strawberry it's just something i would never pick up we have cookie dough i don't get the fascination of cookie dough i really don't it, it's all flowery and like claggy and horrible like cook the cookies and eat it then <laughs> but of course you know each to their own it'd be a boring world if we all liked the same thing wouldn't it And there's actually two tunnels which I missed on the first run through. There's a tunnel on the front of that and a tunnel on the back. And this is where we find Twinkies. I didn't know they made Twinkies ice cream. No idea what butter pecan tastes like. Is it like salty nuts? <laughs> oh my god, that sounds dodgy. <laughs> you know what I mean, salty pecan nuts. Oh, another classic, the Cornetto like choco nuts. Can't beat that. What is Jamoka? No idea. I'm going to have to Google that one. I don't get the puddle or like whatever that's supposed to be. It's not very in keeping with the map. Again, just kind of one of your bog standard mint flavours. You need like rum raisin and tutti frutti and what's the other ones you normally get in the ice cream shops? Again, another Cornetto I would never pick. Literally, if I had Neapolitan ice cream, I'd eat the vanilla and the chocolate and that ice, the whole wedge of strawberry just wouldn't be touched. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen cookies in chocolate cornetto. I'm going to have to start wandering down the ice cream aisle a bit more. Kit Kat. Never seen Kit Kat in a McFlurry either. I think we've been deprived. I've obviously been deprived throughout my childhood and my uh, adult years that I've never seen some of these McFlurries. Again, bog standard, showing that's an emoji, it just doesn't fit in with the rest of the kind of index. Don't even know what Butterfinger is. I have seen it in sort of the sweet shops where the imported sweets are. They're hideously expensive. Kind of like £8 for a box of Lucky Charms. That's what we're kind of talking about, level of expensive. <laughs> See, I don't know what your favourite flavour of ice cream is. I have quite a peculiar one that I can only find in one place, which is an ice cream farm that we took the children to, and it's Turkish Delight. Um, I really do like Turkish Delight, um, and I found this ice cream and it was absolutely to die for. Another classic of my childhood, the feasts. But I bet you now the feast that I kind of remember would have been like the size of my face. And then obviously everything's all shrunk these days. So I'd bet it'd be kind of the size of a postage stamp now. <laughs> so this is the latest update. So you will notice a couple of differences in the map. So this is the cabin where I said that there wasn't one in there. And we have the Milka Butter Cookie. Mm. I haven't seen it, never tried it, I don't think I probably would. 
Again, another ice cream, Sil Breyers. Again, like bog standard vanilla. I know they put stuff like fancy Madagascar vanilla and French vanilla, but it's still just vanilla at the end of the day. <laughs> We have another Milka one, which is the crunchy chocolate. And what was really annoying, they put the up house in it and I couldn't go inside. Like, I want to go inside that house and have an ice cream in there. <laughs> They're just missing the balloons. Like, imagine if the balloons were on there and then there was an ice cream at the top and you had to obby up the balloons. But we find Amul ice cream out the back. And then on top of the hill, we have, I don't know how you pronounce it, Nubi? Essentially this update is sort of the ones hanging off the sort of side of the map and the uh, islands. I was most disappointed that I obbied up to one of the islands um, and then there was no ice cream up there. Again we're starting to get the Smarties coming in, so the Smarties ice cream. And then in a moment we will be finding the Smarties push pop style one. That was quite a novel ice cream when it was first brought out to actually push the ice cream up. It was always kind of quite a good design for parents with children because if you've ever given a child an ice cream, my God, they just get it everywhere. And an ice cream you must try as well if you're a fan of Ferrero Rocher. Uh, I actually found Ferrero Rocher ice cream um, and that was absolutely delicious. Very small on a stick but still delicious. That also needs to get included in this game. <laughs> Another little obby off the side of the map and we have another haagen -Dazs. again just plain vanilla. I mean they haven't even tapped into sort of Ben & Jerry's flavour range or haagen -Dazs, so it's quite clever to do ice creams really. Let alone all sort of the bog standard flavours. Never had a connoisseur ice cream, it sounds very posh, it's probably in the expensive range. Now, I'm gonna make myself sound old now, but I've never really had an ice cream sandwich, or certainly not one that I've enjoyed. It just seems to be like ice cream between two soggy biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> leave me a comment if there is one that I need to try that I can get in the UK where it's actually like nice and there we have it I'm gonna go and have myself an ice cream I don't know about you uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you real soon in my next video bye